This is a short video about measurement uncertainty. There's a part of the lab report that asks you to explain your measurement uncertainty. So we're going to talk about what that means here. Measurement uncertainty is the result of imprecision in measuring devices. All measuring devices have some degree of imprecision and therefore some degree of uncertainty. Measurement uncertainty is always the larger of these two choices, either the limit of the instrument, which is half of the smallest increment, multiplied by the number of measurements taken, or a justified estimation of the limit of the measurement procedure as done by the experimenter. So let's see what that looks like in real life. We can imagine that we're measuring a pencil and we're comparing it to a ruler. So we need to use the limit of the instrument, half of the smallest increment, multiplied by the number of measurements taken. I can see that half of the smallest increment here. The smallest increment is 0.5 centimeters. I know this because I can see that there are lines for every centimeter and lines for every half centimeter. So the smallest space between two points that this ruler measures is one half of a centimeter. So that's the smallest increment. So I'm going to end up using that in my equation. I now need to know how many measurements are being taken here. This is the part that confuses students a lot because they assume we're just taking one measurement. We're measuring the pencil once. But a measurement doesn't just mean measuring the actual pencil. When we're dealing with measurement uncertainty, a measurement is when we use the instrument and compare the instrument to the object. And when you think about that, we actually have to do that at two points on the pencil. We need to see how far it goes this way to the right and how far it goes this way to the left. So we're technically comparing two points on the pencil to the instrument. So we're taking two measurements here rather than one. So therefore the uncertainty is going to be that number of measurements times half of the smallest increment, which just turns out to be 0.5 centimeters again. So we would say that the measurement uncertainty of this ruler is one half of a centimeter. And whenever we recorded any values that we measured from this ruler, we would record the values and add an uncertainty of plus or minus 0.5 centimeters to the end. As an example, if I recorded the length of this pencil, I would eyeball it and say it seems to be around 4.3 centimeters so I would say that's 4.3 plus or minus 0.5 centimeters. So that's how we would record that based on the measurement uncertainty rules. Readings on a meter like this can also be a little strange. I can see that the smallest increment here is 0.2 volts. Um, v stands for volts here, so 0.2 is the smallest space between two lines. And this is a little counterintuitive, but we would also say that we're taking two measurements here because we're comparing either side of this um, meter to the background measurements. So that's a little strange, but we would say that we're also taking two measurements in this situation. So for a lot of situations that you deal with, we would say that it's going to be half of the smallest increment times two measurements, which will just become the smallest increment again. So the uncertainty here would be 0.2 volts. So if I were to record this voltage, I can see that that line is around 3.3 or so. I'm not exactly sure. So I would record it as 3.3 plus or minus 0.2 volts. If you're working with a digital reading, the uncertainty will be at least plus or minus one digit of the last significant figure of the reading. As an example, we can imagine we have this digital scale, and right away I can see that the scale goes down to the tenths spot. There's one number after the decimal. So when I put this apple on it, I get a recording of a certain value, 136.4, in this case this is grams. And so the uncertainty here would be plus or minus 0.1 because it's plus or minus one digit of the last significant figure. And here that last significant figure is the four after the decimal point. So I would say its mass is 136.4 plus or minus 0.1 grams. So if you're writing a lab report and need to fill out the section, explain the measurement uncertainty in the IV or DV, just write about how you followed this method.